Steve in Hawaii, having a good trip. Headed home, excited to be home for a little bit before we come back here for the start of the season, the end of January. We are back in California. My favorite time of the year is to be here over the holiday season. We've got a great video for you guys, so hope you enjoy. It's raining, but it's also sunny. I've never seen it like this before here. Sometimes in Hawaii, but it's like really sunny when it's like a lot of rain. So cool. Good morning, everybody. There's the Tom. We're back in California, you can't tell. And it's raining today, which I love the rain. Do you love the rain? I love the rain. <laughs> Reminds me of a little, little bit more of Australia. It doesn't really rain much, you guys. Have... It's pretty flipping freezing, not gonna lie. I already can't feel my feet. <laughs> <laughs> feet are numb, we've been out for 30 seconds. Let's surf and bring you guys along for a little rainy surf sesh at San Clemente Pier. Hey? Today's air camp. A bit of land. I've had a bit with my brother this year. Land an alley -oop. I've tried all year long, haven't landed it. I've got 20 days until the new year and I have to land an alley -oop. I'm gonna try alley -oops. What are you gonna try? I'm just riding a little epoxy. I'm gonna just try and go for wave count right now. Have some fun. A couple little two or three bangers. Let's go. Oh, we also have a lovely, some river flow just for a side of tetanus this morning. That's fun. Honestly, that's hectic. Ew. All right, waves look fun. Let's go do it. It's kind of pumping, better than we thought. And it's rainy and beautiful and Christmassy AF. Don't fall in the water. guys with the new year approaching very quickly um, even though I believe you can set goals anytime during the year it doesn't need to be the new year but let's talk about goal setting first of all I'll write it down on a big long piece of paper write out everything I might want to accomplish there was Tom Sally <laughs> for 22 um, but yeah I'll kind of write out all my goals I want to accomplish that year for personal and for surfing um, one of my goals for 2022 was to land a no grab air reverse I actually didn't hit that goal uh, so that will carry on into 2023. But I do think I got better at just my regular air versus when I grab. So it just goes to show that setting a goal, even if you don't achieve it, just striving towards it is gonna make you better at that thing, whether that be surfing or a different goal that you have. And every day I use this journal. It's just one that I like. Um, as you can see, it's really filled in from this whole year. I go through like a few of them every year. Every morning when I wake up to make sure I like keep on top of my goals, this is what I do. I write my most impactful goal that I'm striving for throughout the whole year or month or whatever that is. What I'm grateful for, what I'm excited about, affirmations, number one goal for the day, that day, um, and then what's important to get done. So I kind of follow that daily. It helps me kind of stay on track day to day. So what I want to know from you guys is what your 2023 goal may be. Please leave it in the comment section below. I will leave my goal in the comment section below. You can have a lot of them. You can have one of them. Um, I'll leave my surfing goal in the comment section. If you surf, give us a surfing goal. If you don't surf, give us any other goal of yours. It's five days until the new year, so have a think and let's get cracking. I wanna give you guys a couple ideas of some goals that might get you thinking of what yours could be. So maybe something like surfing a wave over five feet tall. 
Maybe it might be landing or doing your first ever layback or signing up and running a 5K, hitting your first home run or scoring your first goal at a soccer game. These are a few ideas to get the ball rolling for you guys, and I can't wait to hear what you come up with for your goals 2023. A great example is my husband, Tom, for 2022. He had a big goal of landing an alley-oop, surfing, a certain type of maneuver, and it took him until about a week ago to actually land that alley-oop. He was injured at the beginning of the year, so fair enough, he didn't have as much time as he thought he would. But it was a really hard goal, but he did persevere, and with 20 days to spare, he landed an alley-oop. Here's a little snippet of that. I set a challenge with my little brother George at the start of this year to land my first ever alley-oop. Since then, I have buckled two boards, injured one knee, hurt one ankle, and left the beach very embarrassed after a few of these sessions. Now down to 20 days to go, I landed my first alley-oop. St. Clemente Pier, one foot, approximately two inches in the air. Moral to the story is, no matter how old you are, you can still teach an old dog new tricks. What I wanna do to make this fun, if you wanna join this goal setting extravaganza with me, comment below your goal as I'm gonna do mine. And throughout the year, if you finish your goal or you complete it, you come back and you comment done under your original goal comment, if that makes sense. So let me know what it, what it is. And when you complete it, comment done. Uh, that way we hold each other accountable. I'll be doing the exact same thing and let's hit our goals. It's been raining the last two days and now it's sunny. So Tom and I, golf is a hobby. Mine have seen better days. I don't golf enough either to really ever know the difference. Yeah, we're gonna golf, San Clemente Municipal Course. We love it, we love it. We're gonna do some sort of challenge, still thinking about what that is gonna be, so I'll tell you in a second. Tom's feeling good, he landed an alley-oop this morning. Our challenge is the loser, it's gonna be just one hole of that hole has to, before we go surf in the morning, soak their wetsuit in the shower, their dry wetsuit in the shower, and then put it on <laughs> and go surf. And it's cold here right now, so it's really gonna suck. You guys enjoy it. We're gonna, you know, not this hole, but in a few holes. Does that sound a hard good? one with a bit of a bend, some trees, a big dip, and plenty of bunkers. This is the hole we're gonna do it on. Whoever just makes it in less shots, it's that simple. Wins, and whoever gets it, and more shots than the other person has to soak their wetsuit in the shower before we go surf in the morning. 48 today, I think. So it's icy around here. He's got to warm up. Can we go right? I think I got the better shot. Shot one. I'm feeling pretty good about things. If you lost the ball, that, that counts as struck. I just might have gone over the net for the driving range, so <laughs> we're gonna go find it. <laughs> or did it not? I got everybody looking for it. <laughs> Here we go, shot two. No, that's not a stink tree, that's a very mature tree. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do. That'll do donkey. She's still on the fairway. Tom's back on the fairway. So let's see how this shot goes. Wetsuit's gonna be chilly. I've hit it three times. I'm at the bottom of this hill. She's hit it three times and she's at the top of the hill. Things aren't looking good for the Tom Toms. And mine is up there. I love pressure. Put the pressure on me, I can't hold on to I got that in uh, five shots. Felt pretty good about it. A bogey. Um, didn't have the best hole, but it happens to the best. Good morning. The birds are loud. I won in golf yesterday, so 
We're gonna go surf this morning. It's a balmy 52 degrees. The loser of the bet yesterday in golf meant that the winner gets to wet their nice dry wetsuit before we go surf. This is Tom's wetsuit. I also have some ice cubes <laughs> we put in there. Babe, it's so dry right now. It's so dry. Tyke. <laughs> nice. Take my little cubes. Have fun. What's up with the ice? Hey, I'm a fair sport. I lost. I'll do it. Get yep. up, huh? There's your axe, honey. I'm so warm right now. You know, just for good measure. I just, I just want to make sure it's really nice and wet. That's pretty good. Ooh. Quick and painless, yeah. How's that feel? <laughs> Honestly, it is the worst. Oh yeah, shrinkage. <laughs> That's what the last kid was. <laughs> All the way. That's it. It's 52. How is it not cold? Yeah, but the sunbeam brings it to like an 80. I lost fair and square. One thing about Lakey is never put pressure on her. You add pressure on for a hole, she rises to the occasion. And like I said yesterday, I crumble like a cookie pretty much 100% of the time. Let's go surf. We're now walking to Surf T Street. Very small today. Just had a guy stop me and ask where we were surfing in Big Sur in one of our vlogs from like two years ago. I actually thought he was going to yell at me for filming Big Sur. That's what I was expecting. I was expecting to get written off. But no, he said he's going Christmas Day and wanted to know where it was and we... <laughs> I have no idea where it was. It was some creek. Ready? completed his challenge till the next time thanks so much for watching the video you guys i hope everybody had a very merry christmas and holiday season and felt loved and was with your beautiful families um if you haven't already please hit that like and subscribe button it really helps us out so that we can keep making these videos for you guys every single week we're trying super hard to keep up with them so we really appreciate your support and we'll see you next week at 10 a.m